If you've ever been curious about the character Momiji from Fruits Basket, then stick around. I am about to cover the psychology of this sweet little bunny. Hello, family members. I'm McGann, the fangirl, and I have a problem. I have been utterly obsessed with Fruits Basket for my entire adult life, and no one has ever captured my heart quite like Momiji. If you've never seen the series or you just casually dabbled with it, Fruits Basket is a lovely manga and a pretty great set of anime series that cover the life of the orphan girl Toru Honda and how she ends up being taken in by the Soma family. After a hot minute, Toru learns that the family is cursed! And not just some weird random run-of-the-mill gypsy curse, certain members of the Soma family will actually turn into animals if the opposite gender hugs them. Well, okay, that's true unless both people have the curse. So the female boar Kagura can hug the cat Kyo as much as she wants and there's no effect. And there's also no effect if a cursed man is hugged by a regular guy, it's only for opposite genders. So if you're one of those 14 cursed members of the Soma family, your romantic options are find someone else in the zodiac, luckily be homosexual, or find a partner with a very open mind. And even though it goes by the zodiac, there's only one person for each animal type, so you can't have two roosters or two monkeys, nothing like that. It's one of each, plus some bonuses. And it's like a spiritual possession kind of thing, so when one member of the zodiac dies, that vengeful spirit gets reincarnated and a new person is born cursed. But it's all within the Selma family, and I don't think they ever say what they did to get cursed. But the the family, as you might imagine, is very secretive, and they're so protective that they'll go as far as to erase memories of people who have seen them transform. So Toru getting to live with some of the Soma family is a big deal to the whole clan. It's easily my favorite manga, so if it's new to you, please go check it out. If they're still selling them, I'll put an Amazon link below. But overall, there's no one I love more than that sweet baby Momiji, who is the year of the rabbit and a total heart melter. Momiji is a really interesting character because he's such a happy-go-lucky kid who's super positive and always strives to see the best in people. Well, not just people, everything. But that attitude came at a cost. Momiji's parents are a Japanese businessman and a Germanic lady who elected to get her memory erased when her son was born as a rabbit. As the manga tells it, most parents have one of two reactions when they find out their baby is cursed with an animal spirit. They either get fiercely protective of their child so that no one finds out about them, or they reject their child to its very essence. Momiji's mother felt the latter, and she asked to have her memory erased of her only child of the time, her only son. Now, the Soma family is very big and important, so it's not like Momiji went up for adoption. He was just raised by, well, wait. I don't think they ever say who it is, but he's probably in the main house with the head of the family. And Momiji does still have his dad in the picture, sort of. Momiji's father actually stayed with his mother after she chose to have her memory wiped, and they had a little girl named Momo, which Momiji kind of sneaks a peek at here and there at the office building. But Momiji can't talk to Momo because the memory erasing is less like the neuralizer from MIB and more like a hypnotic suggestion that can be easily challenged. So if the mother saw Momiji, or heard Momo talking about him that could shatter the memory wipe and suddenly she remembers her abandoned son. Still though, it's like Momiji has to stand in the bushes and hide while he sees this happy little family that he's not allowed to be a part of. Momiji gets cast aside like some accidental child from an affair. Blah. I will never acknowledge him, honey. He is not my real son. Except the mom doesn't even know that much. And even though Momiji keeps this sunny disposition without a negative thing to say about any of it, that's gotta hurt. But doing the Japanese thing, he can't really talk about his pain. Because that would be putting the burden onto other people. I don't get manliness in Japan, I just don't. However, the issues that Momiji is dealing with don't just go away either. They manifest themselves in these other subtle ways. For this character in this particular situation, Situation. It seems like Momiji Soma dresses like a girl every single day, even at school, because he has no other way to process his pain. Now, before the easily offended finish typing their hate comments, I don't think the anime or the manga ever states this directly. Also, this is not an attack or some blanket generalization for everyone, but just really sit back and think about Momiji's life. He's a young boy who's been without a mother since the day he was born, not because she died 
died and couldn't be with him, but because she chose to get away from him. And then he scarcely sees his father. It's more of a, hey, you're still alive. Good job, son. Bye. He's rejected. No one really wants him around. Meanwhile, his little sister Momo gets to live with both of her parents, both of his parents. And Momo gets to be this loved, special, doted on child while Momiji just sits back and can't do anything. Has to watch it all from afar. Then take in the fact that if you had been born a girl, you wouldn't have transformed into a rabbit in your mother's arms and she wouldn't have been so repulsed by you that she banished you from her memories. The way that Momiji dresses has nothing to do with his personal identity. He doesn't really show any hints of being gay or bi or anything else. He's really more like a child in his mindset and not sexually driven. That part of him has not woken up yet. So Momiji's attire is really more about him living out this fantasy where he gets to be the little girl that gets his mother's love. How my heart! Much to his credit, Momiji is never hateful or resentful towards anyone, even though he is definitely the victim of this situation. I mean, it's not like you get to decide, hey, I was just born and I want to be a Cursed Zodiac member, please that was thrown onto him. He didn't have a choice. But Momiji makes the best of it and takes on every friend he can make. You know, some people get hurt and they get angry and bitter and they build up walls to protect their heart from future pain, like Kyo did. But some people, when their heart breaks, it just comes back bigger. And that's Momiji, this beautiful, bright yellow bunny with a heart of gold. If you love this series as much as I do, make sure you leave a comment below with who your favorite Zodiac member is. I would love love to eventually do profiles for each Zodiac or main character in this series, but a lot of times I'll have plans for a big series like that and then never get to finish it because the stats are just so low. So remember, sharing is caring for a vlogger. I might be overthinking it, but that's literally my job. Guys, for derps, I don't really have a song because, no, you don't want me to sing in Japanese, I promise. But I gotta point out this really cute ancient merchandise from the far off year of 2004. I know, like, half of you watching weren't even alive back then. But my buddy Danny Quinn gave me her old fruit basket stuff when she kind of got out of it. And I still have it, like, a decade later. I never get rid of anything. It's really becoming a problem. But I have the human form plushies of Kyo, Toru, and Yuki, as well as a super cute two-sided pillow. I also used to have like this 20 inch tall Keo plushie and a purse and I still have them somewhere but I don't know where they're at at the moment. But I was so excited like hey I get to take out my fruits basket stuff. The plushies of which I had to take from my daughter's room because I kind of let her have them when she fell in love with the series too. But these have held up amazingly well. I'm kind of impressed that she hasn't ruined them. And if you like makeup-y stuff that's more on the adulty adult level go check out my buddy Danny Quinn's channel on Danny Quinn Beauty? Mad Love Masquerade? So something like that. I'll get you a proper link in the description or I don't know, in the little bubble that pops up over here. Something. We'll figure it out. Oh yeah, side note though, she was at a convention one time and she could have got me the Momiji plush, which I would have paid her back for, but she didn't say anything about seeing it and then bought one for her other friend and I'm, I'm still, I'm still hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna hold that grudge <laughs> forever forever. As you can see, it's such a serious grudge. Anyways, love you guys. Thanks for derping with me today. So like the female boar Kagura. So like the female boar Kagura. Kagura. So if you're one of the third. So if you're one of the 14 cursed members of the. So if you're one of the four. So if you're one of the 14 cursed members of. So if you're one. So if you happen to be. They either. They either get. They either get fiercely protective of their. Ch they either get fierce. And Momo gets to be this special loved do- And Momo gets to be this special loved do- well, family members, we're almost done, but I want to invite you to hang out with me in some other places. I'm on Twitter and Instagram as my own personal self, and I have a Facebook page too, but I mostly just post photos over there. And sometimes people say, hey, McGann, I want to mail you something. How do I do that? Easy. Just click the About tab on my channel page, and my most current P.O. Box info will be right there. I also run another channel, The Family. It's 
really a hodgepodge channel where we might post anything. Oh yeah, and I also sell shirts and stickers and stuff with the family and the fangirl logos. If that is your cup of tea, I have a link in every description of every video. Finally, if you want to help out the fangirl channel and make sure I'm putting out video essays for years to come, the best way you can help is by subscribing and watching more of my videos, whether they're new, old, whatever. Maybe even share one or two on social media, help spread the word. People who watch to the end of videos, like you, helps to tell the site, hey, this is a good video, we should recommend it to other people. So if you made it this far, leave me a comment of something like, hey, I made it to the end. Love ya. See ya next time, family members. Bye.